it's the visit with the person of high strangeness. Uh, I need to make a comment here, I need to warn you. What I'm about to show you is very graphic. Um, so if you have small children, it's not suitable. Uh, it deals with um, dead bodies and things like that. So maybe you could push your recorder there for a minute and while I talk to you, so when it gets to the to that part, maybe you could, you know, ask the children to leave the room or something, unless they're old enough where you want to make a point. Well, I haven't said that. The first time we showed you this, this is the visit with a person of high strangeness. First time we showed you that video, um, it was right at the time when the war started in Iraq. At the time I asked the station if this video was considered graphic and I was told, well, we see dead bodies all the time now, so, and, and uh, they actually allowed me to film it. Now, at that time I took all sponsors off because it was a very risky to show you this. Um, we, we were still under the Bush administration and we just wasn't so free to talk to you about things. So my niece Claudia went to... Um, a concentration camp and taped it for you. It was very hard on her to do that because she was very disturbed by what she saw there. And uh, President Obama has been in office for, by the time this is, maybe seven months, six, seven months, something like that. The only time I have ever seen him a little disturbed was when him and Mrs. Merkel went to the concentration camp. Now he went to Buch, uh, Buchenwald, which was in a different part of the country, and uh, like I said, Claudia went to Dachau. But even at that, now that we can speak a little more freely, I like to show you this. Um, we have a different administration. We don't torture anymore. Um, we have to be really careful that we maintain that, or else we may run into problems again. And um, for those of you that think the Holocaust didn't take place, um, you are a little mistaken here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert here most of the show uh, that we showed you. I think it was in 2003. And uh, at the time parts of, us, parts, of us, parts of it was done in the studio. And, um, and it's, it's uncut and I left it just the way she had it. It's uh, somewhat emotional for her. And, uh, but I, I think this is a good time to revisit this because we are at a point, uh, we are in a point in history where we can actually um, change some things. We have more freedoms now. Um, it may not really feel like it, but we do have more freedoms and we can speak up more than, than we did. And so um, I thought I would um, show that to you and dedicate it to um, people in the past and like the people in Iran that um, got done, gunned down in the street and things. Not same story, but sometimes leading up to things like that. So, um, yeah, you may want to, you may want to uh, send your children out of the room uh, at this point. And then I'll see you after a while. Anna, because today I'm going to take you to a concentration camp. Um, and our reporter is CK, and uh, she she went there for us. And uh, before we get going on that clip, I want to um, I don't know, read something to you here. Uh, along with all of this came a book, and uh, and in one of the quotes in here under the under the highlines it says, "This was but a prelude." Where books are burned, human beings will be burned in the end. And it comes from the German poet Heinrich Heine. And he said that in 1820. And I guess it was somewhat prophetic, uh, if you stop and think about it. The other thing I want to show you that uh, is with all the horrible things that happened there, there are some photographs in there after the liberation and how grateful people were that the Americans came and helped them. And um, I just wanted to show this to you to remind you who we are, who we're supposed to be as a people and what it is uh, that we do. And if uh, this, is not, this show is not done to offend anyone or 
what I hope to do with this is to bring back some memories and uh, give you some examples later of why I wanted to show you this today. And um, so, so we have some clips where we want to go right along with Claudia when she went to Dachau, um, the concentration camp here, just a few weeks ago. And then I'll talk to you here in a little while, okay? So anytime we're ready, we can go there. That means, Gedenkstätte uh, means um, uh, like a, a, a memorial where you can think what had happened there. I welcome you. We go now today to the KZ Gedenkstätte. That means um, the concentration camp in Dachau. So that is a plan of the concentration camp. Over here you see the burial place. And here are the terrestrial burial place. Over there is a city from Dachau. And here is a crematory. Crematorium. Well, let's go in there. So now I'm inside. And it looks like that. So let's go in there. So you see now an aerial photograph of Darrow concentration camp on 20th of April 1945. So that is a concentration camp memorial site and you can see the barracks foundations and it's reconstructed. This is unedited footage. I gave it to you. So just you see the way now I it's better. <laughs> Over there is a crematorium area. Crematorium. So, okay. And that is a tower. God tower. So I'm inside now. I'm inside now in a building. Show you a few ugly pictures. So it says never again. It was after liberation. And that it's is an aerial. aerial photograph again. So, Hitler built that building on 1933. Wow, well, the people are dead. Well, I can say nothing. She's speechless. So that means uh, liberation. That's when the Americans came and liberated everyone. And here are the Yiddish people. So Yiddish means Jewish. So it's a small TV. I'll show you the picture. And well.
You know, people are scared and cold and, oh gosh. So, according to the book, they got this meal once a week. Well, out there it says, it's the ugliest picture that I ever saw. The tower again. In 1948, I mean, excuse me, 40, 40-something. A passport. So they made me. medical experiments on the humans, and it says in March 1941, a tuberculosis experiment station of the German medical board was set up in Dachau concentration camp, in which several kinds of therapy were tried out in experiments without any consideration given to the consequences for those who were ill. And they had malaria experiments from February 1942 through the March 1945. The malaria experiment station was located in Dachau concentration camp. It stood under the direction of the 70-year-old professor, Dr. Klaus Schelling, the former chief of the Debev of the Department for Tropical Illness at the Robert Koch Institute. Most of the experience, uh, experiments were done on clergy, according to the books you sent along with it. This is in cage for infecting persons with malaria. Can you believe it? That is really, gosh. <coughs> so they had parallel experiments too. Two groups made up of 20 clergy each, one Czech, one Dutch, and 38 Poles were subject to parallel biochemical and sulfonamate